Hey guys, what's going on? It's KD again with No Other Choice Firearms Training. We are still at NRA Carry Guard 2017, first annual event, and we just stopped some wonderful people that are walking around shopping, looking at some products. Just thought we'd stop and interview them. So, you guys don't mind us talking to you, do you? No, All right, you mind telling the people who you are? First name is fine, don't give me don't give me a full name. My name is Jay, I'm from Chicago. I'm Melissa from Chicago. Oh, from Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say that for off camera. <laughs> All right, so what um what booths in particular have you guys went to so far that stood out to you? Um, the N82 Tactical. Okay. They had uh, holsters that were specifically for women that you don't have to wear a belt with, which is helpful when you have skirts or don't or like you're going to work and don't have to wear a belt. But that was that was my favorite thing. I don't know about. Oh, man, I like all the booths. Um, Ruger, H and K, F and N. Um, I pretty much like all of them. Though. Put you on the spot, man. What? Who your favorite? Who my favorite? Who your favorite manufacturer. I, I carry a Ruger all the time, so <laughs> I'm a Ruger right. man. So Ruger, call me Ruger J. Ruger J. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Ruger so, J. I can go with that. Yeah. So clearly. There are a lot of things for women. So let me just ask you kind of a loaded question. There's a, there's kind of this thing going around that people believe that the gun industry is not very pro-woman. Even though you might not feel that way, do you think if everybody attended this expo, it would change their perspective about that? I do. Um, we actually standing in front of a booth that has jewelry uh, aimed at women. It was a lot of different stuff that we saw, even like lace stuff, stuff that you could do with skirts. Just It was a lot of different things to include women instead yeah, of everything being pro A lot, a lot male. of booths was geared for the women. More so I mean, as far as like uh, the purses and stuff like that here yeah, for women, real nice stuff for women. So it was a lot of stuff that was geared more so for women. I mean, naturally, they got a lot of stuff that's geared for men, but it was a lot of stuff that as far as women, it's women friendly. If they would love to come out, they would have seen some nice stuff here. So, yeah, I mean, even with the firearms that come in different colors now, I mean, I know a lot of women don't necessarily like black, um, but they have stuff that's pink, green, blue, yellow. So I think it is a lot of different stuff for women now. Oh, that's awesome. So, we got Ruger. What about you? Um, my favorite, Smith & Wesson. I like tours too, but Smith & Wesson. So Smith & Wesson's your number one favorite. So how, does those, how do those conversations work in the house? <laughs> what, what, what are those conversations? I mean, it's basically you buy two of everything. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's, two, it's, it's two Smith & Wessons in the house. It's two Rugers. You yeah. know, it's two, two tours. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's like two it. it's two everything though. So. so what do you guys think about, because clearly Carry Guard is a, it's an, it's a product for to protect people that carry. Uh, it's meant to get out there and make sure that if you unfortunately have to use your firearm in any kind of self-defense situation, that there is a backing for you, uh, somebody to step in and assist you. Um, so before we get to that, how do you guys feel about the training aspect of things? Because Carry Guard is also a training program. So in general, how do you feel about training? So you guys obviously have at least six firearms from my account. So how do you guys feel about, yeah, I said minimum of six. Sound like I got a whole lot more, which is awesome. We love that. So what would you guys say about training? What's your general thought about, hey, I have these great things. I'm able to exercise my freedom. I own them. Obviously responsible. We got a couple of kids in the background, so I have no doubt you own them responsibly. But what about training with them? What's your general outlook? I think as far as the, what, the, what the Carry Guard Expo is doing here, as far as with uh, the numerous uh, seminars they got as far as for uh, how to defend yourself, home defense, things like that. It's awesome, you know. As far as the training aspects, uh, I think everybody needs to do a little bit of training, you know, just so you can get familiar with your gun, how to draw, things like that that's going to help you save your life down the line. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I feel the same way. I think training is ongoing. Um, when you carry a firearm, you should try to go to the range at least once a month. But as far as the NRA, they always send out emails. They have different things going on to keep you up to date with, you know, different aspects of the training part. All right, Me. so it seems like you guys are having an all-around good time. Yeah, it's a great time. All right, so I, I definitely appreciate you guys talking to us. I really appreciate that. We just wanted to get the insight of how the people feel. Now, I do want to say you were great. Your weapon choices are awesome. You guys seem like a wonderful family. I love it. I love to see it. I do have one problem, though. I have one problem. I'm going to state this problem, and then we're going to end the video because it's totally one-sided <laughs> bias. Somebody decided to talk to me with a Cubs shirt on, knowing I'm from St. Louis. I got a whole beef with that. Boo. All right, boo. <laughs> you know, see, you see. Now I was arguing with a Brewers fan earlier, and now I'm, I'm arguing with a Cubs fan. I'm like in hostile city. It makes no sense. Uh, but no, you guys were great, man. Thank you right. so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Beautiful family. Hey guys, NRA Carry Guard 2017, the first annual. This event is so successful. It's inclusive of everybody. I hope you guys, if you didn't make it this year, you come out next year. This has been Katie with no other choice. And remember, guys, be prepared for when there is no other choice. We're signing out. See you later.